Okay, I got all my supplies in here. The snow is still coming down. Um, if I had the awning up, it would be a lot easier to just make breakfast off the tailgate. Um, but it's still pretty cold out there and the snow's coming down. So the beauty of my setup in the back of my truck is I can sit up. I'm 6'2". My tri-fold mattress um, folds into kind of a sofa setup here. So I can sit pretty comfortably. Still got room from the ceiling. And I have my coffee and my water my jet boil here and I'm gonna fire that up make some coffee and uh, some oatmeal and then we'll pack up and scout and I are on the move again just gonna just gonna crack the window a little bit to get a little more ventilation in here the uh, buddy heater's going too, but again, I have <clears throat> have a new carbon monoxide detector. It also senses propane and natural gas buildup in the air. So I saw that and I figured I would upgrade. Never a bad idea. Safety first. Before you do that, I'll leave that on. Doesn't 
doesn't take long for the jet boil to bring the water to a rolling boil. If you're not careful, it'll spill out of that little hole there. So my buddy Barry in uh, South Carolina made me a beautiful bushcraft knife with my Adrenaline Adventures logo on the blade and the sheath for that matter. And he's got some coffee. So he sent me some coffee, 803 Outpost. And this is a Guatemala whole bean dark roast. And I've had some at home. I tried it out. It was amazing. So I brought it on this trip. Boy, I doubt scouter. You're all good. Freshly ground coffee in a warm, heated pickup truck camper. Watching more snow fall to add to the three feet that are already out there. My 50th birthday plans were canceled. I was planning to go to Moab, Utah to do some mountain biking with some friends. And with COVID not being able to cross the border, that canceled everything. Which was fine, and I'm uh, very fortunate, you know, family is uh, doing well, and that's really all that matters. But I asked my wife, I go, you know what, for my birthday, there's limited things to do. I just want to get away and uh, take Scout and just get into the wilderness and just kind of enjoy, you know, what COVID makes available. And that means getting away from people, which luckily for me, I enjoy. I prefer being away from people. I have close friends and family, but I do like my solitude. And uh, I'm leaning more and more toward living this type of lifestyle full time when uh, my family allows that to happen. But for these brief glimpses of it, I, I truly enjoy it. I love the serenity of it. Love the peace and quiet. And just having coffee in the middle of the wilderness on a day like this is pretty cool. I always have a few things to fix in my pickup truck setup, but you know, um, a few more things to do. But for the most part, it's worked out really well. I kind of envision these um, bungee cord storage areas. I had uh, containers there originally, thinking that um, I would be able to store my stoves and other things there. And what I have found as I've used it more and more, it just becomes like a stuff sack for sleeping bags or coats or whatever needs to get out of the way quickly. And the actual storage bins that I had there, I kind of abandoned that idea, it just didn't work. It just wasn't consistent because I do most of my cooking and most of my stuff basically outside. That's, I enjoy being outside. So I don't spend a lot of time in here besides sleeping and at the end of the night doing some video editing before you know I fall asleep. But uh, definitely enjoy being able to sit up in it when the weather gets a little hairy and you know scout gets a nice warm place to lie down and i'm in my just my one shirt here so it's really comfortable in here it's probably still a good minus 15 outside
I've always been using those plates to eat my oatmeal. I know it looks funny, but they're deep enough where they kind of hold it in there. I put a second lid on it, kind of let it uh, absorb the water for a little bit. And I started doing that years ago when I was canoe tripping and just like the simplicity of just having plates, no bowls, that sort of thing. So it works out really well. In case you're wondering why I'm eating oatmeal out of a plate, but it's really just a shallow bowl. Oh, it warms up in here and uh, it gets moist in here quick with the uh, propane buddy heater and then boiling water. So I cracked the window and um, yeah, very comfortable though. It's funny, I just noticed my right foot is cold and my left foot is fine and it's, it's so cold outside that my right foot is near the open window and it's, uh, it's that noticeable of the weather. And when you think, oh, he's, you know, pretty comfortable in here, it's uh, the buddy heater is probably on halfway. I think I got it on full, actually. But again, it's it's brisk out there. That's what makes it so awesome. The only drawback to these plates, and I do love them, is that uh, <laughs> they are very hot to hold. So you got to make sure you have something on there. So there we go. That's how I make my oatmeal in the morning. Probably way more than I need. I could use a little more water, but... Brown sugar, raisins, with undertones of steelhead. Gotta learn to wash my dishes better. Well, this is going to wrap up the video. I'm going to finish my oatmeal and coffee, pack up my gear, and Scout and I are going to be off on another adventure. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, really enjoy making them for you. If you haven't already done so, um, please subscribe. I, I do notice that um, less than 20% of my views are from subscribers, so I would really appreciate it. If you do watch the videos, just hit the subscribe button. It really uh, would help me out a bit, grow my channel. I've been at it um, over three years now. And uh, of course, if you really liked the video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. So cheers. We got another one in the books.